Greetings and welcome to the introduction to astronomy. One of the things that I like to do in each of my introductory astronomy classes is to begin the class with the astronomy picture of the day from the NASA website that is apod.nasa.gov apod. And today's picture for October 4th of 2022 well, it is titled Star Forming Eagle Nebula Without Stars. So what do we see here? Well, this is an image taken in two different colors of light, the red due to hydrogen emission and the blue for oxygen emission. And narrow band images such as this allow us to look at the great detail that we see from the uh, from specific emission of the gas and highlights the gas and dust within the nebula. Now this is the Eagle Nebula known as a star forming region. And when we look towards the central areas there, the brighter region is actually a window into the nebula looking at where the stars are forming right now. So we can see some of that when we look at this image. Now it is said this is the nebula without stars. What does the nebula look like with stars? And we can add that here. And when you see it, you can see that it may distract you a little bit from the overall structures of the gas and dust properties that we see. So looking at it with the without the stars makes it a little bit easier to focus on the gas and dust and see those structures, whereas the stars kind of drag our attention away from those specific details that we might want to look at. And this said this is an example of a star forming region. And when we have the stars on, you can see some of those young stars, hot blue stars that have formed within that little bright blue window that we see towards the top of the image. Those are relatively young stars that have recently formed. Some of the knots of dust are also new material that is in the process of forming that is that is still forming. So there are new stars still forming within this. And that little window is material that is now being cleared out by those hot stars that have formed. So material is once those stars form, they push out the material and eat away at the gas and dust, pushing it further out, enhancing some star formation and inhibiting other different star formation. So more stars will continue to form. And over the next couple hundred thousand years, we will then begin to see a new cluster, what we call an open cluster of stars begin to form in this region. So this is how stars form. They start with a dark dust, dense dark dust and gas cloud, and some of it starts to collapse. And those first stars that form will then start to hollow out the regions and compress more material and push that material out, push that material outward, enhancing the star formation process in the outer regions and inhibiting it in the inner regions, except in those densest areas. And again, could we come back in a few hundred thousand years, we would see very little gas and dust, but a new open cluster of stars. So that was our picture of the day for October 4th of 2022. It was titled Star Forming Eagle Nebula Without Stars. We'll be back again tomorrow for the next picture, previewed to be Space Dart Debris. So we'll see what that is about tomorrow. And until then, have a great day everyone. And I will see you in class.